Hello everyone, so today it's Halloween and I've decided to raise from the grave and teach you guys how to create the drop shadow effect I use in most of my projects. So we're going to put it on this rocket object right here, uh, which just uh, staggles through some frames, it just flies around. So the way it works is pretty simple. The shadow is basically a copy of the main sprite, slightly offset and toned down. So we're going to create this through script. So let's go to scripts and create a new c -sharp script called sprite shadow. Let's open this script up. So the first thing we're going to need is a public variable, uh, which is going to be a victor2. We're going to call this offset and let's set this to be a new vector 2, uh, negative 3 and negative 3. So this is going to be the offset of the shadow. And next we're going to need some references to the sprite renderers of the caster, which is the main sprite or the rocket and a reference to the sprite renderer of the shadow. So let's start off by creating a variable called private sprite renderer, uh, sprite rend caster, and another one alright. And then we're gonna need some references to the transforms. So private transform trans caster and all right and for now we're going to create a new function called start so with the start function we're going to create the shadow object i thought it would be much easier to do it through script instead of doing it by hand where you have to duplicate and you know set it as a child and all of that especially when you have to do it on a lot of objects then it's much easier to do it through script so let's create a new game object in the start function so let's set trans shadow to be a new game object and say dot transform at the end so what we're doing here is creating a new game object and then assigning that game objects transform to the trans shadow uh, variable we have and then after this we will make sure that the trans shadows parent is going to be the trans caster but we haven't assigned a transform to the trans caster yet so let's do that trans caster equals to transform okay and now let's just for the sake of it give this new object a name so trans shadow dot game object dot name will be equals to shadow Okay, and now let's go into Unity and see what happens when we assign the script and press play. So we can see a new object has been created and it has been set to be the child of the rocket. So this empty game object here is going to be our shadow. Alright. So now let's move on to assigning stuff to our sprite renderer variables. So sprite rend caster is going to be get component sprite renderer so sprite rend caster is just going to be the sprite renderer which is on the rocket all right so for the shadow sprite renderer we're going to do this So what we're doing here is just adding the sprite renderer component to our trans shadow game object. So let's see what happens when we press play in Unity. A sprite renderer has been added to our shadow. Good. So we're not done yet with the start function, but let's move on to create a new function called late update. So we're going to use late update instead of update because late update runs after the update function. 
so there won't be any positioning problems with the shadow. So let's set the trans shadow position to be a new vector two. Trans caster dot position dot x plus offset dot x, and then trans caster dot position dot y plus offset dot y. And down here we're going to set the sprite of the shadow to be the same as the sprite of the caster. So sprite render shadow dot sprite will be equals to sprite rent sh uh, sprite renderer caster dot sprite. And now let's go into Unity and see what happens. All right, we can see that um, our sp our shadow now has a sprite, but it's kind of positioned weirdly. Um, I'm actually not sure why, so let's figure out how to fix this. Two hours later. All right, so I found the fix. Um, we'll just have to reset the uh, local rotation of the shadow. So. Um, so now the uh, local rotation of the shadow is reset. I think the problem is partly caused because the uh, rocket is rotated 90 degrees. But let's just let's just move on. All right. So we'll have to change the color, and then we will also have to change the sorting order of the sprite. So we'll have to make sure that the sorting layer of the shadow is the same as the caster sorting layer. And the order in layer is one less than the caster's order in layer. And that'll make sure that the shadow is always underneath the caster. All right, so let's do that. We're going to do that in the start function. So sprite rent shadow dot sorting layer name will be equals to sprite rent caster dot sorting layer name. And sprite rent shadow dot sorting order will be sprite rent caster dot sorting order minus one and now the uh, the shadow should be underneath and we can also see that right here the shadow is underneath the rocket all right so now let's add some dark color to the shadow you'll require a shader which you can download in the description called sprites solid color so this will make sure that the color of the shadow is solid um, because if we change the color to a dark color for the uh, main sprite here, you can see that it is not completely black. Uh, but if we attach a material with that shader on, it will be a solid color. So we're going to delete this material and then we're going to fix this. So import the shader and create a new material and we're going to call this material uh, solid color sprite. Oh, no, let's call it shadow material. And then we'll set the shader to be sprites solid color. All right. So now in our script, let's add some new variables public material uh, shadow and public color uh, shadow color good so we will set the sprite rend shadow dot material to be equal to shadow material and the color of the shadow will be equals to shadow color. All right, so let's go into Unity and assign these two things. So shadow material, just drag it onto uh, the thing and let's set the shadow color to be something like this. All right, 
And now let's see what happens. Oh, uh, so now we got some cool drop shadows going on. All right, and now we got a cool drop shadow effect. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, why don't you go and like the video and maybe subscribe. Thank you for watching.